What's up guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for NBA Thursday, January 20th. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. In this video, I'm gonna go over my top picks for today's NBA slate. And if you stick around to the very end of this video, we'll use the draft dashboard tools to make a DFS lineup using the picks we just made. Okay guys, before we get into this video, I haven't done this before, but I might start doing this more often I'm just gonna go over my picks from yesterday. And we had a great day yesterday. Joe Ingles, 28 fantasy points. DeAndre Hunter, 32 fantasy points. Rudy Gobert, 48 fantasy points. Tobias Harris, 39 fantasy points. Danilo Gallinari, 25. Terry Rozier, 52. And Darius Garland, 44 fantasy points. So we hit on all seven of those fantasy picks in yesterday's video so let's get after it again here tonight okay so we got a three game slate tonight so let's take a look at the point guard position i like kemba walker from the new york knicks playing the new orleans pelicans who have a middle of the pack defense overall they give up the fourth most fantasy points to opposing point guards and Kemba Walker has averaged 26.4 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 27 minutes per game with a 23% usage rate. But those are his season numbers, and he's got a much bigger role with the New York Knicks. He scored 31 fantasy points last game, played 29 minutes. So I think he can score 32 fantasy points or more in this matchup, get you five times value or more, He's 6,100 DraftKings salary, 600 less on FanDuel, and Vegas thinks there's going to be 210.5 points scored in this game. And Kemba Walker, he's got a pretty good track record here versus the Pelicans. He scored 40, 34, 27, 54, and 36 fantasy points in his last five games versus the Pelicans. So I like Kemba Walker here versus the New Orleans Pelicans. Okay, let's take a look at the shooting guard position. So I got a lot of value. Um, I got a lot of value plays for this slate. So just pick the value plays that you guys like. I like Cameron Payne from the Phoenix Suns playing the Dallas Mavericks, who have a good defense overall. They've been good versus opposing shooting guards and Cameron Payne has averaged 21 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 21 minutes per game with a 26% usage rate. He's projected at 22.1 fantasy points here tonight. That's 5.3 times value. He's 4,200 DraftKings salary, 100 more on FanDuel, and Vegas thinks there's going to be 213 points scored in this game. And Cameron Payne has scored. Before I continue with the picks, I'm excited today because we added a new contest for everyone watching. If you want to enter the drawing for $25 PayPal, all you need to do is like this video, hit that subscribe button, and make a quick comment below to be entered into the drawing. We'll reply to a random comment and let you know that you won. And we'll send you $25 PayPal. So it's that easy, and we pick a new winner every Saturday and announce them in our video. So get your comment in now so I can add another entry for you. 20, 34, and 20 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 23, 31, and 23 minutes. So I like Cameron Payne here versus the Dallas Mavericks. Now as a DraftKings value play only, take a look at Chris Duarte, from the Indiana Pacers playing the Golden State Warriors. He scored 26, 48, and 15 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 32, 34, and 24 minutes. And he's averaging 24.1 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 29 minutes per game with a 22% usage rate. He's projected at 24.9 fantasy points here tonight, and that's 5.8 times value. 
He's only 4,300 DraftKings salary. He is 800 more on FanDuel, so I prefer that DraftKings price. But this looks like a pretty decent value play as well. So I like Chris Duarte here versus the Golden State Warriors. Okay, let's take a look at the small forward position. I like RJ Barrett from the New York Knicks playing the New Orleans Pelicans who have a middle of the pack defense overall. They give up the ninth most fantasy points to opposing small forwards. RJ Barrett has averaged 29.3 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 32 minutes per game with a 26% usage rate. He's projected at 31.7 fantasy points here tonight. I think he can score 35 fantasy points or more here, get you five times value or more. He has scored 25, 44, and 39 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 37, 38, and 40 minutes. So I like this pick because he's playing monster minutes. He's 7,200 DraftKings salary, and he's 700 less on FanDuel. So I love that FanDuel price. Vegas thinks there's going to be 210.5 points scored in this game. And he scored 57 fantasy points in his last game versus the Pelicans. So I like RJ Barrett here versus the New Orleans Pelicans. Real quick, guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30-day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all of our DFS tools for all sports. You can try the position optimizer where you can see the top players ranked for each position. And we added a new player trends tool where you can see the top salary differences between FanDuel and DraftKings. It's a really good tool to help you pick out value for the site that you're playing on. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. Okay, let's take a look at the power forward position. I like Herbert Jones from the New Orleans Pelicans playing the New York Knicks who have a middle of the pack defense overall. They're middle of the pack defending opposing power forwards. Herbert Jones has averaged 21.1 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 29 minutes per game with a 13% usage rate. He's projected at 21.9 fantasy points here tonight, and that's five times value. He's 4,400 DraftKings salary, 1,400 more on FanDuel, and Vegas thinks there's going to be 210.5 points scored in this game. And Herbert Jones has scored 24, 23, and 33 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 34, 28, and 32 minutes. So I like Herbert Jones, who scored 29 fantasy points in his last game versus the Knicks, here versus the New York Knicks. Now, another value play that looks pretty interesting here, this guy's been playing a lot of minutes lately, and he's been super productive. Take a look at Jonathan Kuminga from the Golden State Warriors playing the Indiana Pacers, who have a middle-of-the-pack defense overall. They're middle-of-the-pack defending opposing power forwards. Jonathan Kuminga has averaged, or I'm sorry, he scored 29, 29, and 42 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 24, 33, and 25 minutes, and he's getting a 25 or 24% usage rate in the last three games, so I think he can score 25 fantasy points or more here, get you over five times value. He's 4,300 DraftKings salary, 1,600 more on FanDuel, so I prefer that DraftKings price. And Vegas thinks there's going to be 216.5 points scored in this game. So I like Jonathan Kuminga here versus the Indiana Pacers. Okay, moving on to the center position. We This, uh, this video is just full of value plays. Take a look at Bismack, Bismack Biombo from the Phoenix Suns playing the Dallas Mavericks who have a good defense overall. They give up the fifth most fantasy points to opposing centers. 
Bismack Biombo has averaged 21.6 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 17 minutes per game with an 18% usage rate. He's projected at 22.4 fantasy points here tonight. That's 5.6 times value. It's only 4,000 DraftKings salary, 1,200 more on FanDuel. Vegas thinks there's going to be 213 points scored in this game. And Bismarck Biombo scored 39 fantasy points last game, played 24 minutes. He's got a decent track record here versus the Mavericks. Scored 24, 24, 6, and 27 fantasy points in his last four games versus the Mavericks. So three out of those four have been pretty good for his price point. So I like Bismarck Biombo here versus the Dallas Mavericks. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smickety smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this NBA slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.